Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back or welcome to Subnautica. In the last episode, we expanded our base. So now we don't only have the scanner room, but we have a ginormous room in here, which I am going to be completely honest with you. I still don't know what to do with. Uh, in here, we have our brand new storage room, which we will get back to. And I keep pressing the wrong buttons. One day I will learn it. And in this room, we are growing stuff lantern tree which is 97 percent complete actually that is really cool Th this is awesome but today what i want to do is i want to explore a little bit because we are lacking in the resource department and i have kind of prepared a little bit uh we have two completely charged up batteries because my lantern and my scanner tool is a little bit low uh i have also made some cooked boomerang however they are not going to be lasting very long, which is a problem. Thank you. Uh, so... I need salt. Yeah, that's the thing. I need to get some salt so I can make some bleach so we can make a ton of water. Because the last thing we want to do is uh, die of dehydration or hunger while we are out exploring. Also, I have figured out that the sea moth, if you enter it, as you can see, it has... Uh, thank you. It has an energy which is currently at 49 and if I just exit real quick and go behind it here The power cell is right here and I can actually change it So I need to figure out how to actually make that I have made one before uh, Power cells so I need two batteries and some silicone rubber 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 which we should be able to I think I have silicone rubber but the issue with the two batteries is I need more copper and this is why I wish to go out and gather a little bit of resources. So I think we're going to actually take two trips. One to get some salt at anything that we find in between and then another trip in I guess some other direction. Something else that I also really want to make is this, the beacon, which again requires copper and titanium, titanium of which we have plenty. But I need salt, and I am pretty sure salt is gathered from uh, the red plains, or the uh, the red biome thingy, which I think is going to be in this direction, if I'm not too mistaken. I hope I'm not, anyway. Also, I'm gonna have to actually, when I, whenever I travel, I'm gonna try and be as close to the... Yep, I think I'm pretty sure that's a salt deposit right there. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm actually just going to leave that there for now. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to... Oh, I don't have the sea glider with me. That's right, because it is quite... Uh... It is quite big in the inventory, and for gathering resources, we really want as much inventory as possible. Or inventory space, I should say. Um... Is there really no more salt, or is it really, like, hidden? I mean, that's quartz. I will take quartz if I see it, because quartz is good. But I need more salt deposits, which um, hmm, seems to be a bit of a tricky one. Maybe I've already been here. That could be it. Can I go through this archway? It would be kind of cool. Oh, hey, fella. Yep, I did it. <laughs> and there's more salt here. Okay, perfect. Goody, goody. Uh, I mean, if I see some stuff that is scannable... Oh. What? What? I think... Okay, I think that was fish. I don't think that is the... The depth. Because that would only be... Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'm kind of working on that. Trying to find as much... Uh, <laughs> as much uh, salt as I can. But it's not the thing that does most of, apparently. Also, a question. Does resources... Like... Uh, regenerate? Will I ever run out of materials is another thing that I actually don't know much about. But here we go. Plenty of salt here and quartz. But this should be enough for us to get a decent supply of water, I think. And also a decent supply of... Um, what's that? Creature? Yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with any with no creature. Ow. Oh, that was hurtful. Maybe I need to bring some med packs as well. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think I have what I need now. How much is that? Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Okay. Back to the sea moth, and then we are going to go back, get fully prepared, and then we're going to go on our trip. One thing I'm actually curious about as well is, does these guys, do they grow anything on top of them that could, like, 
be harvested without harming the creature, because I really don't want to harm this thing. It's beautiful. Ow, don't know what that was. Uh, probably that. Oh, wow, this thing is pretty. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really anything that I need from it. And please don't hit my sea moth. That would be <laughs> very unfortunate. Also, going back, I think I'm just going to follow, like, the seabed as much as I can. I don't know if I said that before or if I was interrupted by events. Oh, hold on. What do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh, salt deposit. Oh, I didn't know those could be here. And what is this? Ooh, hello. Dropping stinger. Oh, that does not sound friendly. That does not sound friendly one bit, and my health is already half. You don't look friendly either, my friend. A common complication for cave divers is hmm. loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Ooh, wow, this place is pretty. This place is very pretty. Okay, not gonna get distracted, just don't get hit by those. Yeah, def definitely want some, um... Ooh. Ah, I need copper. <laughs> I need copper before we go back home, that's the thing. Ooh, more salt. I will take it. Yep, yep, I know, but I need copper. I'm also going to pick, uh, pick, uh, take on the rebreather instead of the radiation helmet, because I, I, I'm not planning on going near the Aurora today. Uh, hopefully next time we can actually go on to the Aurora, which is, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to get uh, resources as well. I really want to get to the Aurora, but I feel like we need to get some resource gathering doing first before we can actually take that step. Now the sun is going down. I want to explore when it's daytime, so I am going to go ahead and first grab the first aid kit from over here. Then I'm going to get some creep vine samples to make some more med kits just to have them. And then I'm going to check out some of the nearby caves to see if I can get some basic resources here. And gonna use that immediately. <laughs> Ooh, that was one copper, I think. Yes, one copper. Beautiful. And we're here now. Interesting. I don't know if I can find stuff on like the edges here. Or if I can potentially find some sort of cave nearby. That would be kinda cool. Ooh. Okay, I think I think I've already got sulfur though. I'm gonna lie, but this is cool. Finding some uh, unmined ore deposits here. That is really good. Fairly nearby to the to home as well. And this looks like it could be leading into the creep mine territory. Uh, oh dear. I don't have extra oxygen on me. Just want to grab this thing real quick. Uh, and there's an opening here. Good. Go, go, go. I don't want to die down here. That would be kind of bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's creep vines here. This is perfect. Nice. Yep, that's the Aurora. Hopefully, we will be going to that in the next episode. That is the plan, anyway. Uh, creep vine sample. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess that's all I'm getting. All right, first aid kits has been crafted. I'm not sure how much copper I got. But hopefully enough, I do want to make some um, some of that. Where is it? There it is. Deployables. I want to make a beacon or two. I do want to make like a beacon or two. Just two, I think it's going to be good. And then I can use the rest of the copper for batteries. I think I have like one one copper left potentially. Oh, I have two copper left. Ooh, perfect. Do I have more acid mushrooms? I really need to organize this. But oh well, it'll be done eventually. <laughs> Hopefully there's plenty of acid mushrooms nearby. And that's one battery and two batteries. And I think with that we are good to go. I need a little bit more food. Um, but then I think we're good. This is... Uh, I, I wish there was bigger inventory space. Maybe is there a blueprint upgrade thingy that I can potentially make vehicle bay upgrades? Depth module, hull enhancement, energy fish storage. Ooh. Wait, I can make that. I can make, but can I make that here, though? Titanium and lithium. I, I'm not assuming that I can make it in here. Can I make it in the mobile vehicle bay, though? Because that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I can't really make it here. Can I make it in the vehicle bay? 
If I can, that would be absolutely brilliant. Nope, only vehicles and then the sea moth itself. Oh well, <laughs> that would have been nice, but oh well, we'll just have to make do. All right, a bunch of cooked food has now been acquired and... Ooh, we have lantern fruits now. Can I eat those? I can. But can I then place one as another? Yes, that is good. So these can hopefully grow while we're out and about, potentially. That is the plan anyway. And Chinese potatoes. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow, they give a lot. And we can actually eat these as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I think I have everything that I need on me. I don't think I have something that I don't need. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's head out with less than half of my inventory available. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And I think we're literally gonna go in this direction, and we'll stop whenever we find something interesting. I really just wish we had that uh, storage module, but we can't get that until we actually go out and explore stuff. Like, uh, what's this, for example? Is this something scannable? Potentially. Oh, it is. A mobile vehicle bay fragment that will give us titanium. Really not what we need, but, well, we do kind of need it, so, yeah. But I would like other resources as well. Ooh, hello. I mean, we haven't gotten that far, but I do just want to check this out. Because if there's, like, a huge cave system or something, then... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to equip this Pathfinder tool. Just in case I need it. And this is a pretty significant area, but I don't think I need to actually mark it with a beacon. Because we've literally gone like 300 meters. I think I can remember to actually find this again if I say to myself, just go west from the base. So I think we'll go a little bit further to find some more interesting stuff. What do we have here? Ooh, laser cutter fragment. I'm pretty... I don't want to be too hyped before knowing, but I'm pretty sure... Yep, we actually need that. We actually needed that. That is pretty cool. Where is it? What does it need? Diamond, battery, titanium, cave, cave silver. I'm pretty sure we actually got diamonds. If I'm not mistaken completely. Uh, oh, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll take that. What's this? It's like growing in the dark. That's cool. Creature, I'm, I'm not dealing with this creature egg stuff. <laughs> I, I'm not taking that risk. Uh, I will take some of these if I see them, though. Not too many of them, but I will take some of them. Leaving space if we do find something in more interesting. Now I'm not too worried about spending power either, because I know we can fairly easily get new uh, new power power cells to, to the Seamoth here, so that is pretty cool. Also, for my tools, the batteries are fairly simple, as long as I can actually get copper. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's another ore thingy here. And then we're heading into looking like some new territory. Which is cool. There we go. I wonder if we can get like an in-game big map or something. Is this something scannable? Oh, it is. Bioreactor fragment. We already have that. I don't want to fill up my inventory completely with titanium. Here we go. Oh, dear. This is bare, isn't it? Warning. Maximum oh. depth reached. Hull damage yep. imminent. Yep. Yep. What's that? Wait, that looks... I'm sorry, but that looks very similar to the alien technology we found on that island. Uh... Hmm. Okay, those are those creatures up there. If they go up there, it's probably safe for me, right? Right? I'm gonna go down and check. Yep, that's that's definitely the alien technology. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Okay, if I have ever heard a game be like, hey, don't do this. That, wow. Oh, wait, we have a radio thingy. Oh, alien vent, huh? I mean, there's quartz, there's some, uh, there's quite a few, like, silver ore, 
titanium. There's quite a lot of stuff here. Um. Ooh. Oh wait, hello. Okay, I need I need to stay fairly close to my sea moth because I have only so much oxygen and <laughs> I can't really reach the surface from down here. So the sea moth is my only way of getting like oxygen. I want to go towards that. That looks like it could be a wreck of some sort. So that's probably useful. I can go down a little bit here. The closer I am to the surface, the better without taking too big of a risk. Yeah, that's some sort of wreck. Definitely need to check that out. That could have something we want. Um, what's this? Oh, lithium. Oh, lithium literally just growing on this? Ruby? Ooh. I will... I, I'm not sure I should be here. <laughs> Uh, ooh. Um, yeah, I, I really... Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Uh, oh, dear me is right. Oh, dear me is right. That... Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't know... Yeah, I th I'm starting to think the game is, uh, is right. Am I sure it's worth it? No, I'm most certainly not sure if this is worth it. Okay. Uh, thermal plant. I don't think I have that one yet. So I'm gonna get that. Uh, thermal plant. Entry unlocked. Nice. Uh, thermal plant fragment again. Nice. If that thing comes and eats me, that's like... <laughs> I would not be a... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna save the game real quick, you know? Just in case of a glitch or something. Uh, I don't actually know... Moon pool. Oh. Oh, wait, the moon pool. Wait, that's actually the thing that I need in order for, um... Uh, where is it? Moon pool. I just need one more fragment. One more moon pool fragment. I already have that. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Can I, can I reach the sea moth in 30 seconds? I don't feel like I can reach it in 30 seconds. Oh dear. Oh, that's a thing right there. Please don't see me. Oh man, I'm taking a risk here. Oh, see the shadow. How close is it? It's right there. You know what? It's fine. It probably can't smell me. Wait, is that another moon pool thingy? Wait, hold on a minute. Moon pool fragment. I can actually make it. I can actually make it. <laughs> I can actually make the moon pool. That's basically, if you don't know where, what the moon pool is, it's basically where you can like dock your vehicles and charge them and like do upgrades and stuff. Oh man, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Um, is there anything else worth like our attention? Oh wait, we can go in. Oh, well, this isn't creepy at all, is it? Oh, dear. Uh, right. I should probably be quick in here. Because of the O2. And some data box here. Reinforced dive suit. Ooh, okay. Uh, supply crate. I'll take some water. Uh, sealed door. Cut to access. So I need the laser cutter for that. So there's actually something... Hold on. There's actually something here that is behind a sealed door. Okay, I'm going to real quick, before I die of some weird uh, thing, I'm going to go ahead and take out a beacon. Because, you know, we have them and should use them. And I'm going to drop this here. And I'm pretty sure... Aided beacon name... Sealed door... And I should be able to see that, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Yep, there we go. Sealed door. So I know that there's a sealed door here. Okay. With that news, I'm not done exploring just yet. But I feel a little bit unwelcome. 
So I think we'll go a little bit in this direction. But that was a great find, actually. Oh, what on earth? Just hit me. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Okay, yep, yep. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. This bomb is probably safe, right? Nope. Probably not. <laughs> Man. What a great find, though. What an absolutely amazing find. The moon pool, the sealed door. I think we have to... I think we have to come back for that. Well, I, I know we have to come back for the sealed, but I'm thinking in this episode, I really want to get to what's ever inside that. And is that a life pod that I haven't been to yet? Have I just found a life pod? I don't think... I don't recall ever being this far out in this... Um, in this biome before. Uh, I mean, this is open, so... Yeah, I've probably been here already. Okay, well... Um... Hmm. I mean, this place is pretty. Are you hostile, I wonder? Jelly Raid. So you're probably, like, pretty dangerous to touch, right? Uh, can you just get over here? What? No? Okay. Uh, fine. Um... What do I need for these deposits? Because there's a lot of them. Special equipment is required to collect this. Maybe the laser cutter. Maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna try and keep going in this direction, north from our base, basically. I just... I just remembered, or not remembered, I just... Ooh, tree mushroom. I was just wondering if I can, like... Oh, I can. Fungal sample. Hmm. I'll bring that with me, just in case. I don't know if it's going to be useful for anything. But it could be, maybe. Oh, what is this? Why is lights turning red? Un... This is... I don't know if I should be going here. That seems like something that could... S what on earth is all this? No, is that a spider? I don't like spiders. <laughs> Warning, oh, sorry. Yep, 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 yep. Good point. Yeah, I can't even go here with this equipment. Um. Right. Yeah, this... That does not seem friendly. None of this stuff, so... Especially that thing. What does that thing have? Ten legs? Ooh. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I nope. think I'm good. Oh, but it looks pretty, though. It looks very pretty. Ooh, that, that, that jumps got me. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, look at the light beams like this. Oh, that's... That's kind of a sixth thumbnail. Um, except that I don't... Oh, yeah, F6, I'm pretty sure. Like, hide the HUD. Yeah. Oh, look at all that down there. I... Don't know if I should be here. I really, really don't. Deep shroom. Oh, man. Blood oil? I'll take it. It sounds cool. But I'm also concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm here for various resources, right? This is, however, not the resources that I was expecting to be getting today. Wow. Oh, and the music, though. The music. Oh, wow. Red oil-filled... Uh, I can read that. Contains bloodline seeds. Maybe processed into whatever that is. Oh, man. This place is a dark place. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading back to my Seamoth. This is <laughs> way out of my depth. Get it? <laughs> it's because it, it it's literally out of my depth, but also out of my uh, ooh diamond. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, eat that. Pick up. Pick up. Good. But it, it yeah, get it. <laughs> okay. 
anyway. Yep, yep, I know, I know, I know. What is this? Is this a cave or is this just going to go up towards... Oh, okay. I'm down. <laughs> uh... Man, this, this game is cool. Like... I think I've already said that, but this game is seriously cool. Really cool. I think, oh yeah, I want to, I want to bookmark that. Uh, thermal plant converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. That's cool. But I wanted to bookmark another thing as well. Coffee vending machine. Caffeine free cup. I mean, if it can like deal with my thirst a little bit, then I will not complain. But a gas torpedo? What? <laughs> yeah, that is laser cutter. And reinforced dive suit. Like, yeah, please. And synthetic fibers. And benzene. Which is... Oh, hello. Okay. Sorry for browsing my tablet <laughs> in your area. <laughs> it was like, you're done yet? Get going, boy. Wow. Okay. Mini, but I guess if I was in the in the way, do I have inventory space at all? Uh, that didn't sound good. Oh wow, you guys are aggressive! I just wanted those resources, like badly, but dare I? I dare. I dare. Diamond. Yep, I'll take it. Silver. Yep. 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 Anything down here? Uh, just stay away from my sea moth. Don't break it. Thank you. Uh, I mean, I was hoping to find a cave as well, but I mean, we've found so much other cool stuff so far. Yeah, yeah, there. Nope, nope, nope. Sea moth is my home. Sea moth is my home. Come on. Come on. Yep. Okay. Phew. Erosion patterns on the oh. masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Oh, he's at... Ooh, hello. Nope. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so what that basically kind of... Oh, come on, I'm leaving. What that basically kind of means is... Or su suggests is that this was once on land. Essentially. Okay, I, I need to repair this thing. I need to repair this. I uh, should be... Nope, that's the wrong button for it. Uh, repair tool. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. Repairing the Seamoth. Because those guys are not very friendly. Lithium. More here. Oh, lead. Oh, boy. I'll eat that too. Eat it for the lead. Well, else my inventory is full and we have a bunch of cool stuff now. Um, and there's that sealed door as well. Maybe we should head back and explore another time in the south and east air wait i'm at an island wait where am i hold up huh the aurora is over there this is north so i went west and then i kind of followed the north line i mean i'm not seeing the alien structure where am I? Wait, let's go. To, let's go over here where it looked like there was a beach area over here. Then grab that and oh, gold. Uh, sure, I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back here. Oh, this is where the island is. Okay. Yeah, we've been here already. Okay. So we kind of went in full circle and we didn't quite get all the way out in like the southwest area because uh, too deep and uh, a bit too scary. But okay, we went as far as we we felt like we could go. I'm going to go home now. In another episode, we will definitely explore in the south and in the west area. West is obviously the Aurora, so probably just south. Um, but yeah, we got, I mean, look at all the stuff on the sides. We have so much to work towards and... Maybe, just maybe, with that reinforced suit and the laser cutter, we're probably equipped to go into the Aurora in the next episode. I'm about 600 meters away from home. Hello. I was about to say, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. I think that's another sealed door. I think I can turn off the light, though. Welcome there we go. Captain. 
little creature. I think this is a sealed door. Yep, cut open to access. We will throw this out here, like that, and I will rename sealed door two. Boom, we can come back for that. I just want to make sure there's nothing important to scan. Uh, doesn't look like it though. I mean, maybe on the inside, but I can't really get in. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hello. Uh, let's see what we have. Bad PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, oh, so that was just to get in here. Oh, is that sealed door where, that we found over there just to get into the area that we found as well? Ah, uh, it probably is, isn't it? I thought it would be... No, wait, that was inside, I think. It might be just to get into that same area. I'm not sure. But either way, we, we have the ability now, so that is really cool. Oh, and there's some stuff here which I don't know if I've been to yet. Just gonna cover this before heading back. Trash can? Definitely don't think I have a trash can. I will be surprised if I have a trash can. I did not have a trash can. Seek life fragment, beacon fragment. Uh, already have that. Don't need more titanium in my inventory at the moment. I really should get a bunch of copper and just put down a bunch of like beacons for stuff like this because I won't remember where this stuff is. Like, there's a ton of titanium here to be collected. Um, so yeah, that is something that I should think about eventually. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we... Oh, sorry, fish. <laughs> oh, with, that, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back home. Just like that. Pretty awesome. I need to do some inventory management, which I will do very quickly. And then we can get to a bunch of the crafting. Firstly, though... Firstly, I need to actually get back my um, my base builder tool, which should be in here. Oh yeah, and we have the radio thing as well. Oh boy, so much to do. Yep, here it is. Can I add that to... We need to add that to here, and then... Yeah, that's what I need to do. And then I quit that. Yep, that's fine. All right. I just want to make that coffee machine. I don't drink coffee in real life, but if it can help with my... Um, Oh, moon pool, <laughs> thermal plant, a bench, trash can. Wait, where's the coffee vending machine? Uh, yes. Just yes. You look like you could use some coffee. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> it's actually making the coffee. It's not... Does it really have a cup, though? Oh, wait. I actually got a coffee. And it helps with thirst. I don't know how much, but wow. <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, let me sort out my inventory a little bit here, and then I will be right back with you, and we'll do some very exciting crafting all right so that is quite a crafting list that we have on the right there first off i want to go ahead and quickly take a look at that suit what it actually says here heavy synthetic fiber dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures okay pretty good laser cutter cutting device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors Already made the co coffee machine right there. And then we need titanium ingots, which for that we need to... Oh, wow, this list is getting getting quite long here. Just a whole lot of titanium lubricant, which is from Creepvine Scene Cluster and some lead. So we should be able to actually go ahead and make this pretty easily. First off, we need to go ahead and make some benzene uh, oil and uh, uh, from blood oil interesting let's go ahead and make that a bit creepy but <laughs> that is next i need to go ahead and make some fiber mesh which is from the creep line sample uh of which i didn't bring any did i no i did not and i don't think i have any in my inventory if i'm not mistaken all right creep line seed cluster looks like we have something right here and that is just a simple collection like that. And then I need to take the knife and 
get two of those for the fiber. Very lovely. Now go back, turn back around. I feel like I can actually use this a lot more now. Not only do I know that we are going to get the recharging station, but also with me knowing now that I can just change the battery like anytime I need to is just really, really awesome. Um, but yes, let's go ahead now. And first of all, we can go ahead and remove you and synthetic cluster should now be possible after we've made the fiber mesh, of course. Then we should be able to, first of all, we can go ahead and make the lubricant right off the bat, free up some inventory space and synthetic fiber. I don't know what else synthetic fiber is actually used for, if anything, um, but I guess we'll find out in the future. Uh, two more titanium and then we should be ready. I wish I could convert these back to titanium. That would be really nice. Uh, but I don't think there's a way of actually doing that. Ooh, laser cutter, I can actually make that. But first, we're making the reinforced diving suit. Here we go. 80%, 90 and boom. Oh, we get gloves as well. Now, what we need to take into account here is the fact that we currently have the rebreather, but then the rest is a radiation suit. Meaning, if we go to a place like the Aurora, where we will need the radiation protection, we need to swap suits, essentially. Um... But for now, I mean, I, I think this looks kind of cool. I can't see in the third person, but I think this is going to be pretty cool. And I think this storage over here, I'm going to dedicate that to things like tools, helmets, uh, etc. I say I say helmets, but I'm assuming that I'm only going to be having these two. Um, so that is my radiation suit, basically. And I can put other tools in there, maybe ex extra batteries and stuff like that. It's probably a good idea to keep. Next, I guess, is a laser cutter, because I should have every... I guess I need that battery, or, yep, I need a battery for that, and I need titanium again. Come on, I, I really hope I actually do have enough titanium for this. I might not, because I need to make those... I need 20 to make the, the moon pool up here. But let's find out. Laser cutter, using through two, two diamonds for that, and here we go. There it is. Look at that. So I guess we can put it right there. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to use it in here. We're going to go to... Oh, dear. We're going to go to, like, I, I think that sealed door, but that is the one with the Le Leviathan. Big much to go that down there if we have already been in that room, but we'll find out. We will find out. It will be worth it to test it. Next, though, is this. And I think I have everything except for all the titanium required. I think I'll have enough after converting that... Um, this thing here, but yeah, I, I, I should have enough. I should have enough. I hope I have enough. <laughs> That's one and boom, two. Now, I think I'm not sure where to actually go ahead and place this. Um, I'm going to be needing the base builder again, and I need to see real quick because these foundations, that is lead and titanium. Uh, if I can have, if I have a little bit more lead, that would be ideal. I really need to like, actually, like la label things here. But yeah, if I have more lead, which I don't think I do, I have two. Okay, I can add a little bit more structural integrity, and it does look like the sun is going down. That is unfortunate. I wouldn't mind having more sun sunrise or uh, sunrise sun uh, sunlight. E yikes. Okay. Let me make this foundation. Um, total now 6.5. That doesn't sound like a lot. We may need to deconstruct this large room and then put the moon pool in its place. Um, you know what? Let me use some of this night time to think about this. Is that another radio? We might just have two radio things now, because that just popped up again. Unless it's a reminder. Uh, okay, L let me think about this for a quick second, then we will take a look at the radio stuff. Ooh, look at this. Look at this, it's awesome. Right, let me think. So, just sharing my thoughts here. Considering it's a moon pool, basically a garage, if we place it in the line with this, like at the same height level, uh, the more space we have down here to maneuver, uh, the better. So I would think we would need to place it around here somewhere. I'm just really scared with that whole integrity. But I th 
think I... Yeah, because even down here, there's not much clearance, so removing this wouldn't make much sense. Because we would barely be able to fit in with the Seamoth. So we'll probably extending it in this and maybe make a bridge between the crop area and this would probably work out. But anyway, we have some radio things we need to look at. And then when it's sunlight, we can actually try and do this and hope we don't get any hull breaches. Okay, here we go. This is life pod four. Oh. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're going to last. Okay. Close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Uh, life part four transmission origin. That, uh, last available photo photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. That's fairly close to the Aurora. Rotation device active, life part located at sea level. Part is in close proximity to, so we need to uh, radio, radioactive suit. I should be able to see that, you know. Do I have like binoculars or something? I should be able to like see it from the roof here, maybe. Or maybe not, probably out of my viewing distance. But okay, just another reason to head on over to the Aurora uh, in the <laughs> very soon near future. Someone could be in need of assistance. Um, let's see the other radio. Oh, was that the only radio signal? Huh, I guess it was a reminder then. Okay, well, I could use some coffee on that news. <laughs> oh, it only gives you four. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping on a little bit more than that, but oh well. That is still a pretty cool feature. Right, uh, while we're still waiting for daytime, because I, again, really want to build when it's day so we can see what we're doing, we have a couple of scanner room upgrade possibilities. Camera drone, for example, would be something that is really cool. Um, and hot chip. But again, we need magnetite. I don't know where on earth to get magnetite. I wish there was like a search thing. I don't think it's something you craft, I think it's something you actually have to find. Which, um, yeah. I can make the camera drone, though. In theory, I should have everything that I need for that. Except for the computer chip. Oh, look at that, I have copper. Actually, I have a computer chip. Hold on, I can actually go ahead and make this thing. Uh, where, where was it? Where was it? That was in... I lost it. I just need the extra battery, and I am fairly certain... That either I have glass or I can make it. Actually, I can just make it. Add some quartz, go in here, go ahead and make the glass. I think I just need the one. And then we can make the camera drone, which we can use to easily find resources in the area. Also, it's daytime, which is brilliant, but now I just want to quickly make this first. Camera drone. Perfect. And we should be able to just. Oh, it's something you deploy. Ooh, okay. We'll take a look at that for uh, afterwards. I want to deploy the, the moon pool. Sorry, life part four. I need this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Use. Uh, last room, that is not it. Let's see, miscellaneous, nope. Interior, exterior, uh, where is it? Moon pool. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. That doesn't boat well, but... Um, that would be good. I'm gonna just save real quick, <laughs> and then we're gonna try this. Hopefully it works. Ooh, we just have enough, but look at this beauty. Ooh, and it's connected there, that is perfect. Yeah, that, that, mm, we could use another one here, couldn't we? But, oh, look at this. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, a bouncy, bouncy. Let's climb the ladder. Nope, oh, I, I wanted to get back up. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this place. Ah, oh, this is amazing. And, actually, I think this is... Oh. Human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research oh. indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Okay, uh, I think I'm good for now. Oh, vehicle upgrade console. We need that. 
as like a computer chip and a copper wire, which is even more copper, copper of which I do not have. Uh, oh, wait, I do. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, but I think for a computer chip, I need, I need copper wire for a computer chip. Yep, I need one more copper ore. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, I need to make this. I need to make this. Oh, hello. This is fairly close to home without me having picked that up. Wow. Either I haven't seen it or I have thought that it's empty. Also, really trying to get some food on the way back because food is an issue. There we go. Ideally, we want to get to the point where food is not really something we have to actually fish for, question mark. Also, I think... I think I can just plop this down here. It should be safe here, and I don't know, but I don't think it should be consuming much power. If any power, we should be able to use that from the scanner room. But anyway, I should now have everything that I need because now I can make the computer chip. I can then make the extra copper wire. And then I can make the thing that I wanted to. There we go. Vehicle upgrade console. And I'm pretty sure that this is what goes into this room. Up here some... No? Wait, where does this actually go? Huh? Wait. Oh. oh. It goes on a... Oh. oh. It goes on a wall. Okay. Um. I guess let's place it... Like... Up there. I would like it... Okay, I guess at the end here. I guess that works. Let's put it... Let's hope we don't get any... Okay. I was gonna say, let's hope we don't get any, like, uh, negative structure thing from adding that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put the Seamoth into the garage, I guess. <laughs> Alright, enter a Seamoth. Thank you. Oh, another radio thing. Oh boy, okay. This is a lot of activity all of a sudden. So I believe what we gotta do is just go underneath it very gently and just go up. And it should grab it automatically, just like that. And we slide off. Beautiful. We can access the upgrades right here. It should be charging the Seamoth. If we... What? I can change... I can change the name. I can change the name. <laughs> I can change the, uh, the base color, the name color. I guess if we give it a name, the color for the name. Stripe? Okay. Not what I thought the upgrade console would do, though. Where would I actually be making something like, oh, I don't know. Let me just, uh, uh storage module, module, for example, because I could actually, I could actually make that, you know. Um, I guess done. Nope. That's it. That is it. Oh, oh I keep changing. Oh, I can, oh, dear. I don't want to change it like that. Um, let's keep it white, I guess. Interior, we can make that kind of... Let's make that white as well. Stripe. Um, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's make it like that. And if you guys have any suggestions for names, let me know down below in the comments. Um, and I'll take name suggestions. But yeah, I kind of like that. But yeah, I, I do feel like it needs a name. But what do I then use for upgrading it? Or where do I build the upgrades, I should say? Because I don't really see anything for it. Hmm. Huh. Because it's definitely not in here. All right. Well, I'll have to do some research on that. Let's listen to this radio. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Life Pod 12? Attack. Warning. Life Pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt. Ooh. Without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, life part 12. That's also near the Aurora. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that I'm going to call this episode here because we have a lot of work ahead of us. I really want to make these uh, modules here. I'll figure that out in between episodes. I'll do some research. Um, see what the torpedo, si torpedo system? There has to be something with that upgrade thing that I'm missing. Anyway, in the next episode, we have two life parts to hopefully help and 
if there's time, potentially taking a look at the Aurora. Who knows? So guys, I'm going to do some uh, preparation in between. I will get some food going, which uh, we have right here. I mean, we have this growing thing here, so we probably won't be needing to do much, to be honest. I can eat this, right? Oh, yeah, I can. Right. In the next episode, we'll be doing that. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you, hopefully, in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, goodbye.